Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome back to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're continuing with our set of problems on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest with number 36. And this is a nice one if you're an elementary, middle school, or even high school teacher because it involves polygons and angles. And you see these a lot on the exams. This is a nice applied problem. It's sort of an intermediate problem out there. So it's a good one to take a look at. There's a lot of strategies here that would make a problem like this a lot easier. So we'll start by reading this one over, talking about some of that general knowledge that's helpful to know, and then solving it. Let's begin. Number 36, it says, use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. It gives us this shape. Now this is a two-dimensional closed shape. We call those polygons. And it tells us some information about this polygon. It says, line AB is one of the lines of symmetry in the regular octagon shown above. It doesn't use the phrase polygon. Instead, it says regular octagon. You got to remember that an octagon is a two-dimensional eight-sided closed shape. So it's, a, it's an eight-sided polygon. And that, that word regular means not only is it an eight-sided polygon, but it's an eight-sided polygon where all the sides and angles are equal. All these sides are equal. This is equal to this is equal to this. And, and what's really important to this problem, all these angles, all these interior angles are equal to. And there's eight of them. Now this phrase, line of symmetry, this line of symmetry, what it does is it divides this shape into two congruent parts. So this part here is going to be equal to this part here. And not only that, it not only bisects it into two, cuts it into two congruent parts, but it bisects each one of these angles. So, so this one angle here, this interior angle here, is cut into two. If this is x, this is also equal to x2. Now that's pretty cool because we can use this information from these two phrases to help solve this problem. So we know each one of these interior angles, like this right here, they're all equal to each other. And one of the interior angles here, it's, it's cut in half and it can be described as 2x because that line of symmetry here, it cuts or bisects the angle in half. So if this is x, this is going to be also x. So our mission is to find out the value of one of those interior angles. If we can find out the value of one of these interior angles and divide it in half, we're going to get the value of x. How do we do that? Well, there's lots of different ways to find the value of an interior angle of a polygon. My favorite way is not to use any formula but it's to take the original polygon and divide it up into triangles. We know that a triangle, the sum of those angles in a triangle is equal to 180. And we can take this eight-sided polygon, this octagon, and we can cut it up into a bunch of different triangles. We got a triangle here, one, another one here, two, three, four, five, it actually comes out to six triangles. Each one, each one of these six triangles, the angles add up to 180 degrees. And when we add up these ones right here, so we do 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180, or 180 times 6, we get, we get the sum of these six triangles as 1,080. That means that the sum of all the angles in this eight-sided polygon is equal to 1,080. And we know that there are eight interior angles in this shape. And they all have the same measure, is that right? So we're going to take this 180 and we're going to divide it by eight so we find the average measure of each one of those interior angles. So let's do that now. 1080 divided by eight. Pull out a piece of paper team, solve it with me. Eight goes into 10 how many times? Once, one times eight is eight. 10 minus eight is what? Two, drop the eight. Eight goes into 28 how many times? Three. 3 times 8 is what? 24. 28 minus 24 gets you what? 4. Drop the 0. 8 goes into 40 how many times? 8 goes into 45 times. 5 times 80 is 40. Okay, so right now what we did is we took the total sum of all the angles that make up this 8-sided polygon. We found out that the total uh, interior angle measure is 1080 and that there are 8 angles that that, that make up this shape, each one of those has an average measure of 135. 
That means that each one of these angles here is 135, including the 2x. And now what we can do is we can solve for x by finding out what half of 235 is, right? Since two of these angles equals 135, we're going to divide by 2 on both sides. I'll do 135 divided by 2 here and be very careful with the math. Do with me. 2 goes into 13. This is where teachers make mistakes. Believe it or not, it's at this point right here, so do it with me. 2 goes into 13 how many times? 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Minus them. 2 goes into 15 how many times? 7. 7 times the 2 is 14. Minus them. Our last one. 15 minus 14 is what? 1. we got to bring down a 0. 2 goes into 10. How many times 5? What we just found out is that if each one of these interior angles is 135 and our x is half of that, we take the 135, divide it by 2, and we find out that x is equal to d, 67.5 degrees. Team, there are so many different ways to do this problem. Try this strategy of taking the shape, dividing it into triangles to find the sum of all the angles in that polygon. And then if it's an eight-sided polygon, divide that value by eight. If it's a six-sided polygon, divide all the, the sum of all those triangles by six. And that's going to get you the measure of the interior angle of a regular polygon. All right? Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Happy